in my records, they showed me their gifts, they showed me um, ways that I can recognize them through the way that they look physically, they showed me how they work with me and what they're trying to teach me, and my overall purpose or mission here as a messenger. Hey guys, it's Brianna. Today I want to be talking to you about star seeds. As I talk to you guys about star seeds, I'm going to be sharing with you my story of how I discovered my star seed family and ways that you can discover and understand where your star seed origin is from. So let's explain a few things first. Your soul has lived a few lives before this one, possibly many, thousands, hundreds. But what's for certain is for all those lives to be only on one planet would be kind of strange. You have most likely incarnated from many lives in different places, different galaxies. Your soul might have started in a certain galaxy outside of Earth, which might be where your starseed family origin is from. So you might have starseed origins from different galaxies or star systems, but your soul might not remember it in this lifetime. Although you might not necessarily remember the whole history or the story of where your soul came from in those different parts of the galaxy, your soul has not forgotten your mission or the traits that you've carried with you here today. It might make sense or make up part of your traits and personalities, almost like a horoscope. It's also important to know that you can have more than one star family. Most likely your soul has bounced around a few different galaxies or has made its home specifically in one. All of your star families have different missions or a life purpose which you are now carrying out here today. So overall it's not a coincidence that humans have been said to have made of stardust. Most likely your soul is made of stars too. So I've been practicing my intuition a lot recently, especially over the past couple months, picking up on certain words or phrases or things that really catch my eye. When I pay attention to those things, I research them. I try to dive into my meditations and ask questions about why these certain things um, light me up or have caused me to have this remembering. The word star seed recently has become a remembering for me, something that I knew or sensed or felt that I heard before, understood before, or possibly have, could have come from. I was listening to a podcast and I heard this word star seed and I heard about a few other star seeds. I'll link the podcast below and I just had a knowing I, I might have been here before or I definitely encountered beings like this before. So that's how I started to dive in. I, I first heard the word, had the knowing, and then dove in. So after receiving the knowing, I knew I had to dive in more. I did research, I read blog posts, I watched videos. By doing this, I began to open up my channel and allow messages to come through. I openly acknowledged the communication that I was trying to make with my star family. And now I invite you to open up your channel. Invite your spirit guides, angels, or star family into your space. Announce that you would like to receive guidance from them or messages to understand more about yourself. Once this communication is open, your channel's open, like me, you might start to hear more messages or you might be able to receive physical signs um, that are gonna kind of lead breadcrumbs per se um, on a trail that leads you to what answers you're looking for. For me, I started to receive these signs and images of my origin through working with my tarot and oracle deck. I started seeing animals that related to my star family or gave me little hints dreams, physical signs that I saw, picking up on those signs and adding them to kind of your pot of research and putting together kind of the pieces of understanding who your star family is is a great way to start. So as you continue to follow your curiosity, ask yourself how you can learn more about your star family. What answers are you trying to receive and what are some of the best ways to receive them? For me, I knew that I needed to go into my own Akashic Records to receive the answers that I was looking for. I was hopeful for um, details and names and words that um, aligned with my star family, possibly messages that they wanted to share with me. So on May 21st, I opened my records and I received who my star family was. Within five minutes of being in my records, they gave me two star families, which were Pleiadian and Syrian. 
The Pleiadian made a lot of sense to me because that was the first star seed I've ever heard of and gave me that initial knowing. Syrian I never really knew about, so I was really excited to research more about it after entering my records. In my records, they showed me their gifts, they showed me um, ways that I can recognize them through the way that they look physically. They showed me how they work with me and what they're trying to teach me and my overall purpose or mission here as a messenger. It was a really, really beautiful experience. If you are seeking answers um, similar to mine or are curious, I would definitely get an Akashic Record reading. I do them myself if you want to work with me. I've had many clients discover their starseed origins um, pretty fast, which was amazing. So if you want to learn more or do a reading with me, I'll leave that link below. And yeah, so after I received the confirmation of two starseeds, I was really excited. I did more research. Looking at all the synchronicities and learning about their traits made me laugh because it was so spot on similar. It was insane. I'll leave links below to ways that I research more about them and how I made those connections. And yeah, it was really exciting. I then began to open communication um, during my meditations for those two star seeds in particular. Then I came across a starseed birth chart reading, and although I received a solid confirmation in my own records, I did want outside confirmation of possibly my starseed placements. Just like as you have a horoscope birth chart and all your placements, this, these placements and birth chart can also be connected to your starseed lineage, um, star seeds and um, and those galactic entities come from different star systems, constellations, and those constellations can be pointed in your chart as well. So for example, the Pleiades, or where the Pleiadians live, were recognized in my birth chart after I received a birth chart starseed reading. Um, and also Orion, which was a new one for me, so then I had three. I had Pleiadian, Syrian, and now Orion to add into my family and my knowing. The birth chart did not recognize my Syrian descent, so I'm assuming that it's a more recent um, life that I've been living, especially because of the weird kind of quirks and personality traits that I have, I feel like that are very specific to this life. So in my theory or my knowing and what I've channeled, um, my soul originated in the Pleiades went back and forth between the Pleiades and Orion. They're actually very close to almost um, in the same system. And then I somehow jumped to Syrian, um, possibly very specifically for this lifetime and my purpose here. If you want confirmation of your star seeds through a birth chart reading, I will also leave that link below for you. But I do urge you to kind of tap into your own knowing first then try to receive um, outside confirmation through birth chart or Akashic record readings. So with those um, three words and understandings for where I came from, I did even more research. I have a real thirst for knowledge and understanding myself more, so with those things, um, I just naturally go to learning as much as I can about them. But my Pleiadian and Orion, or you can call it Orion, um, descent really makes up a lot of my DNA, specifically related to my Northern European heritage. Pleiadians and Orions or Orions are known for having um, light skin, blonde hair, blue eyes, typically in Scandinavia. This is actually where my, most of my DNA is from, is from Northern Germany, Scandinavia, and other parts of Europe. Also their overall message that they want to share um, and to help conscious collectiveness um, really reign true for me, so I feel like my overarching message to share here on Earth was very similar. My Syrian connection and similarities, like I said, were more, I feel like, related to specific quirks and traits that I have in this life, and the Syrian connection almost showed up on every single bullet point, exactly what I like and my quirks and the things I'm interested in. Um, and the one that was funniest to me was the connection to canines, um, where they explained the connection to dogs, wolves, all canine creatures, which makes a lot of sense because I believe my spirit comes from a wolf. And they also have 
and they also have connections to marine mammals and I would say my second animal to a wolf is dolphins um, so that is funny um, Syrians also have a really important connection to water as do I and they tend to be very creative the Pleiadian and Syrian and Orion descent all stem from ancient Egypt um, so if you are someone who is really interested in ancient civilizations you might have come from one of these star seeds and yeah so as you can tell I've been having a lot of fun doing research on my star seeds I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do more and more every day and I urge you to do the same because um, self-discovery and self-knowing is really important to understanding your purpose your message and why you're here um, you showed up in this body for a reason, you've had certain past lives for reasons um, to which help you navigate your world today. As that being said, your journey is most likely going to be very different from mine or it could be similar. If you want to step into discovering your own starseed history, I urge you to first starting with your intuition and connecting to your channel first. If you feel like you're not connected to your channel, I have a lot of videos helping with that that you can check out. But my four main tips for you is tapping into your own intuition. You can use tools for this like tarot and oracle or through meditation. You can open communication and ask questions just with yourself and whoever you invite into your sacred space. Make sure to take notes during these sessions because it's going to help piece together all the puzzle pieces that you're collecting along the way. Number two is to find resources that align with your questions so that you can go deeper into the knowings and receive confirmation that way. Number three is I would receive a reading from somebody. You could do a birth chart, Akashic Record readings I think are really really wonderful especially if you want to receive messages, communication, learn why the mission you have is aligned with your star seeds, who they are, where they've lived, things like that. You can receive a lot of answers through your Akashic Records for things other than star seeds. But um, if you want to learn more specifically about your star seed family, that's a really great place to go. Again, I offer readings, so I will leave my link below. You can see my reviews and stuff like that too. And four is just to trust the process, believe in your gifts because you have them, use your tools, use your knowing, follow the breadcrumbs, and hopefully it will lead you to finding some answers within yourself. I hope some of those tips were helpful to having you start your journey. This video wasn't meant for me to share my story and for you to exactly copy it because your journey is going to be a lot different from mine, especially discovering truths about yourself. I hope this story of my journey and these tips help you um, open your channel more and help answer some questions and spark your curiosity to finding more about your starseed family. If you ever have any more questions, you can always leave a comment here. If you like this video, you can support me by leaving a like and a comment and also subscribing. I'm trying to reach 100 by the end of this month and it would be really awesome to reach that. I appreciate you for being here. I'm always here to help support you and be your teacher throughout your spiritual experiences. I love you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful day.